Well, hello, you bunch of filthy animals. <laughs> how the hell y'all doing? It's Dylan. That's right. Coming to you live from the Dylan compound. By God, I hope y'all having a fantastic Friday. Got my shades on. Check it out. There I am. Oh, I'm gone. There I am. Oh, I'm gone. There I am. Oh, gone again. Get rid of this son. Oh, hope you're having a fantastic evening, by God. Oh my God. I can get a hat on. I look like Ginger Billy, for crying out loud. There we go. That's better. Hey, I got a quick question for y'all. Uh, have y'all ever, like, you know, got home on a Thursday afternoon and, uh, wanted to get a few things done and went to welding on your little project trailer and when you got that after like 15 beers and after you got done you went hell yeah that looks pretty good i done a damn good job there you go buddy pat on the back dylan yeah and get up next morning and go Son of a bitch. That's a damn butcher job of welding. And I didn't even hit the seam. Mm. So you get home on Friday and uh, you grind all that shit off and you start over. After having to go through your damn welder because <clears throat> the wire won't feed. Well, I squirted that son of a bitch full of WD-40 where it would feed and it smoothed right through. Of course the son of a bitch caught on fire as soon as I started welding. But well you gotta take the good with the bad I guess or the bad with the good or or ganip ganop whatever. But yeah that's never happened to me either. But I just got done re-welding this, and as you can see, uh, another freaking butcher job on the welding. I got to get a new welder. And my old buddy Joe, he had a welder he sold in a yard sale, a stick welder. I should have bought that son of a bitch. I can lay a bead. Ooh. I can't do much with stick welder. It's too much wire feed and heat and, you know, barometric pressure and curvature of the earth and the wind and, you know, a lot, a lot comes into play. But I'm going to grind this shit down. And hopefully I've got a good seal all the way around. If not, then I'll try again. That's all you can do. While, while I'm on here, let, let me let me let me get your attention for a minute. I uh, I was in the house uh, changing clothes from work to to do a little welding. Yeah, we're going into a wood pile chat, baby. Hang on, grab them balls and hang on. Hang on. I was in there watching a, uh, uh, well, cut the TV on. First thing I do when I come in the house, cut the TV on, cut the computer on, catch up on Facebook from the day. Because, let me put it, let me just go ahead and put this out there. I can't receive a messenger, you know, all the porn and shit throughout the day. I'm driving. I'm a professional steering wheel holder. I can't view all that shit. I realize that y'all want to share it with me, and I appreciate it. I really do. If I'm at home, I can respond. If I'm out on the road, I hear it chime, and I'm like, I can't respond, and it's going to run my fucking battery dead on my phone. But y'all don't know, so that's cool. But just to let you know, if I don't respond, that's why. I'm driving. 
I can't sit and watch fucking porno. You know, is that a midget? Oh my God. Well, it's a flexible midget. I can't do that. I can't do it and drive. Can't do it. Sorry. You can send me the shit all you want to, and I will view it later. But I, I'm sorry I can't respond instantly, because I can't watch it. And you're running my fucking battery dead on my phone, for crying out loud. But, anyway, when I got home, I come in, I got the computer on and all that bullshit. Of course, the TV, I pretty much just leave it on Channel 5, unless it goes into one of stupid TV shows that got on now, and I'll change it, and I'll cut on Family Guy or something, American Dad, you know. Something with some some solid character to it. But it was on Channel 5 and uh, popped up a damn ad for KFC. And I just happened to be looking at the screen when it popped up and it said, oh my God, new bowls. We have these new bowls. Chicken bowls. Oh, they're the fucking shit. By God, come get you one. I didn't catch the price. They're probably 27 fucking dollars. Come get you one. Oh, they're fucking awesome. So I'm, I'm like, so I'm watching, and I'm looking at it. It's got like uh, potatoes and gravy and chicken and corn in it, you know, and topped off with gravy. You know, I'm thinking, yeah, they've got a lunch buffet. And it sounds like that's all the shit that they didn't sell off the buffet that they're now dumping into a bowl. I mean, chicken, gravy, potatoes, corn. They just throw all that shit in a fucking bowl and they're selling it to people. You know, for, I'm, I don't know what the price was. I didn't even pay attention. I'm just like, you're fucking kidding me. It's all the leftover fucking shit from the buffet. The shit that the fucking meth heads are in there <laughs> tweaking out on. You know, <laughs> you know, fucking sticking their damn penis in the mashed potatoes. And <laughs> you know, no, no, I'm sorry. I can't do that. Just can't do it. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. If you don't understand that, it's nope. I don't think so. Well, this is my shout out for a Friday night. A little wood pile chat. And, uh, fuck, man, I hope y'all have a fantastic Friday. Hope your weekend's fantastic. And I'll probably fucking holler at y'all tomorrow. <laughs> Y'all have a good one, buddy.